Welcome back to Morning Live. I'll still remind you of our social media pages on Instagram, Switch TV KE, both Facebook and Twitter, Switch TV Kenya. We'll be happy to sample your views right now. And of course, SNS lines are always open for you, the Bluetooth triple nine. We'll also be glad, actually glad to uh, be making uh, that acquaintance with you. Now, uh, in studio, I'm joined by Peter Morima from Association, that Motorist Association of Kenya, and Evan Sofula from United Boda Boda Association. And as you know very well, it's been kind of a battle between uh, City Council Ascaris, uh, police officers and of course the border border riders in the city some are not with the idea of them being banned from the cbd so they have to kind of uh, uh, they have a radius where they have to operate from and with me when peter marima supports that and uh, when uh, evans of Hula doesn't agree with the fact that they've been banned from going to the city karibu nisana now peter marima karibu yes. sana and of course um why are the border border riders being banned from the city now yes uh the border border inside the CBD are, have been associated with the road SNS, mm -hmm. sometimes uh, where mugging, actually steering from pedestrians, okay. accidents uh, when they are riding uh, against the traffic, sometimes on the pavement, and you find that uh, it creates a very chaotic uh, situation mm -hmm. within the city. Mm -hmm. And you know uh, Nairobi is not just a city, it is an international hub. Okay. So we are supposed to set uh, a good example to uh, mm -hmm. the great re region on how cities should be managed. Mm -hmm. So we are having a chaotic uh, uh, situation where riding contributes immensely to that. Okay. Okay. Yes. Now, um, maybe one of us, you've heard him, and uh, from crime, from kidogo, you guys kind of uh, get lost, you disappear. So many vices associated with the border, border in the CBD. Do you agree with that now? Okay, I don't agree. I don't agree because uh, this border, border sector, as you, as you see, mm -hmm. it's, uh, it contributes about 4% of the annual DGP, mm -hmm. GDP of Kenya. Mm -hmm. There's about 250 billion per, okay. per, per year. Okay. So, uh, okay, initially we had uh, some uncontrol. There was no control in the sector, mm -hmm. but uh, coming up with the the government, so it, because the sector is still growing, okay. so there was a need for uh, to, to come up with uh, an association mm -hmm. like the UBA, which is uh, training the riders to okay. be professional, okay. to have insurance. You know, most of the time they no can run because they know they don't have insurance, sure. they don't have the license. Yeah. So they can't uh, stand there mm -hmm. to come and face the law because they know if they go in, they will not come out. <laughs> but uh, if they have the insurance with mm -hmm. them, they will not run. So that's why we have UBA in place okay. that is uh, going to protect that, mm -hmm. to, 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 involve, to have trainings for them so that uh, uh, they, they know how to use their rod. Okay. They don't uh, like, uh, penetrate yeah, inside. Penetrate. Okay. Yes. It's yes. clear there's a loophole and the mm. loophole is very conspicuous because now he's mentioned yes. that some, some of them have no insurance. Uh, that's why they opt to kind of uh, disappear when, yes. when something happens. Mm. But now have you ever noticed when you hit one of them just by accident, they kind of come like a swarm of bees. Yes. Have you, have you, have you experienced that? Yes. yes. Uh, <laughs> I'm a victim okay. myself. Okay. I was driving along Kirinyaga Road. Okay. And now there, there was a border border rider okay. on my left, and he was riding with a sense of entitlement. Okay. I didn't know that uh, he didn't know that you are supposed to drive together with the traffic. So he, uh, in that entitlement, he drives on the left side. Okay. And then uh, there is my lawful uh, okay. path of travel. Sure. Because you see, uh, if you get a pothole or you, if you get uh, something, you are supposed to to move your car yeah. to either yeah. side, yeah. providing you are within your path of travel. Sure. So now they uh, hog that path of travel okay. Uh, okay. by riding yeah. on the left. Okay. You will find that the traffic officers who are riders as well, right. they will never overtake you on the left. Sure. They overtake you on the right because that is the rule. Mm -hmm. But now what happened is that uh, since I, I was not seeing him, I, I turned the car. And uh, he's, he got very agitated. Mm -hmm. And when we stopped at the, uh, at the traffic, he came and damaged my car. Wow. And he was joined by the others. Mm -hmm. And they were reprimanding me. Mm -hmm. Actually, they wanted to fight. I had to mm -hmm. soften down. Mm -hmm. There are instances where they are molesting, mm -hmm. beating, stealing, mm -hmm. and in fact, touching 
motorist vehicles. So wow. it is a very serious offense. So okay. they gang up okay. and they are very organized in ganging up. <laughs> <laughs> they are very nice at yeah, that. Yeah, so they'll before. come. We have very many photos where a bus was burned, yeah, yeah, yeah. a road was burned. Mm -hmm. So uh, in case you have a small mishap, it doesn't matter whether they were in the long, okay. whether they did not give way on uh, joining uh, main road. Mm -hmm. So uh, it is high time that a regulation, regulation is done. Mm -hmm. But the transport ministry, we are happy that uh, CS Matiangi has come up with... Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, he has prescribed a uh, okay. task force, okay. Okay. which okay. now uh, is going to look into this so yeah. that we yeah. can address. Because you see, we need all means of tra uh, of uh, uh, travel. Mm -hmm. That is from the, pub the, the buses, mm -hmm. the private cars, sure. uh, the border border, mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the taxi, okay. and all manner of uh, uh, public transport. Mm -hmm. But again, it has to be ordered. Okay. Mm. The, the, it's, it's clear there's a loophole from indiscipline issues and then now just following rules. For example, reflect on the helmet. That has been something no one, has, majority of you guys haven't been like following uh, to the latter. But still, do, do you feel like um, you have some rotten eggs between you guys, uh, among us two guys, between, uh, because we are finding, we are, in fact, there's a situation whereby you can hit someone and then you gang up, and then the threats come in, you'll touch the car. So many things actually associated with border borders. Although, they offer a very good solution to beating traffic. That one, kudos, by the way. You've been doing a good job out here, because I've used you guys so many times. But now, maybe if you can tell us, what is the issue with discipline? As much as the structures are being put in place, yes. we, will, we, will we see maybe the, the values? You know, people are different. Structures and the values. And someone said rules are there to be broken. Now, you guys, it's been difficult. What do you think? Uh, will we see some re re reform soon, or maybe we just see again some kind of a cycle situation from you guys? Uh, maybe to answer him first before you mm -hmm. come to your sure, question. Sure, sure. Yeah, and in instance, uh, because I have also been uh, involved in such, mm -hmm. but if you see a border, border rider who is on, on the mistake, they never stop. They, the one you said, they ran away. Because mm -hmm. uh, if he knows he's on the left, mm -hmm. and... Uh, Maybe he knocked you by mistake. He will mm -hmm. not uh, stand because if others come, they will ask, where were you mm -hmm. on the left? So they want to defend him. Okay. Yes. But the one that is on the on the right, you know, sometimes also motorists, they they look upon any I want to respect. Down upon, yeah. Mm, yeah they they yeah. see us as, as a menace. So mm -hmm. they want to, to do something to to put you in your place. Okay. So that's what agitates uh, most of the riders. Okay. Say they have to come together because if you are one, you will not yeah. manage. This person will go away with mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. We run away. Like mm -hmm. yesterday, Someone, a, a motorist knocked a, a ride around the Bunyala road. Mm -hmm. Then this this motor, after stopping, he came and agreed that, uh, okay, I'll take him to the hospital. But after realizing the police has gone because it was out of, like, like a, yeah, it was a out of the, yeah, sure. he entered the country, uh, sped away. So we had to follow him because uh, we can't leave him. This this one, has bro the leg is broken. He's down, he can't follow. So we followed and we had to talk the... Like, uh, we prevented him until the police came again and uh, he, mm -hmm. yeah, you yeah, missed it, like that. Okay, okay. So under the, the controls, uh, okay, the, the sector is, is growing exponentially, a mm -hmm. lot, mm -hmm. yeah. because it's cheap, the bike yeah. is cheap, someone so. can buy, mm -hmm. and, uh, and any unemployed youth, okay. can, you can, uh, like, train for one day, they yeah. know how to ride, they come on road. Train for one day, wow. Yes, adults, <laughs> yes. Those are the ones you said we yeah. have some bad yeah. eggs. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, those are the ones spoiling our name. Okay. But now with this task force that uh, the government has come up with mm -hmm. in conjunction the, the, with the UBA, mm -hmm. we're training a lot of border borders in okay. the counties, okay. in uh, every county. We mm -hmm. have trainings, offer them license mm -hmm. and the insurance mm -hmm. and the uh, reflector jackets branded mm -hmm. and uh, two helmets. Okay. So that they know when they enter the road, mm -hmm. these are the, the rules. Okay. If I do otherwise, then the law mm -hmm. will yeah, land on me. Okay. Now, yes. we've talked about the issues on both sides. Not even yes. both sides, mostly on their side. Mm -hmm. But now, let's now focus on solutions because uh, it's, it's still a, a crazy time for them when they get themselves into uh, uh, the CBD. And um, maybe from your, from your angle, uh, what should be the solution? As much as you're saying, Nairobi is a very um, organized city. We need some organized form of transport. Now, what is your opinion or maybe your solutions out of this? Because also... At the end of the day, looking at the bigger picture, they need to take something home. Uh, it is understandable, mm -hmm. and I'm happy 
that UBA have come up uh, with the decision to organize the sector mm -hmm. because the sector is uh, big as uh, he says it's actually an economic uh, powerhouse so uh, that notwithstanding we a uh, raw and order should is a uh, is a requisite mm -hmm. for uh, the transport so what I would, I would think is that uh, organization okay. and uh, before the government comes in there is something we call self-regulation okay. so the organization is supposed to self-regulate its members okay. Okay. they are supposed to have anybody in their register mm -hmm. should have what we call a code of conduct okay. so that we discipline our members okay. even before the government comes in because when we fail to self regulate that is when we invite the government that is when the government intervention now mm -hmm. comes mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. but if we are able to self regulate say for example uh, if it is a peak and drop point okay. we have order where uh, some bike are picking and uh, that is a well designated the county government can give a designated peak and drop point sure where now you know uh, we have several designated pick and drop yeah. points mm -hmm. and then uh, the people the riders and their pillion are wearing protective gear yeah. and then they are very well marked as he's saying uh -huh. that uh -huh. you can easily identify the rider <coughs> through a specific number uh -huh. either on like they are doing somewhere in Naivasha or somewhere okay. where the number uh, is your specific number sure. and that is the number if you break the rock and mm -hmm. uh, that will now stop uh, hitmen from using the motorbike mm -hmm. because all of those mo riders mm -hmm. are within are registered within uh, uh, that organization yeah. and any intruder or those that are lawless they will themselves remove them and the government will help okay. or even the motorist association because also we want to come up with an initiative mm -hmm. where uh, we stop this uh, conflict between motorists mm -hmm. and border border okay. uh, we, we are able to find and identify so okay. we are going to do that together with the uh, with the uber okay. we identify uh, areas of conflict okay. and then seek solutions okay. so that we can mitigate Mm -hmm. uh, the damage that is right. being meted on mm -hmm. uh, vehicle owners. All right, we're just be coming back to you shortly, but we're taking a short break. When you return, right in Morning Live, we're now to talk about insurance. Now, how safe are the border border riders? Because as much as they're talking about fleeing upon hitting someone, there must be something wrong. Insurance, insurance, insurance. Are these people insured? Now, if not, what's the solution? All that's coming up to you in a short break. Welcome back to Morning Live. All right, now the issue of insurance. I'll go back to my brother here because now when you talk about safety, Evans, uh, because I to estates. They're injured, in fact, like, Nani and Takanaombe could insurance. Yeah, okay, insurance uh, is a mandatory after mm -hmm. a rider training through okay. the, uh, the, the 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 driving school okay you are you are told you you can't go on road without insurance okay you can't go without a uh, uh, license mm -hmm. so it's a basic need after finishing training if the rider is professional they will go looking for insurance okay you know because you can't hit any road if, if you are riding or driving without it it's a sure. mandatory requirement mm -hmm. so we saw most of them are because of their cost uh, they see 10,000 is, is much, so they yeah. want to cut corners, but yeah. in the process of cutting corners mm -hmm. there, mm -hmm. there may be heat or cold. Okay. Sure. Yeah, so as a, the, the UBA, we want to have every member registered on our system. Mm -hmm. There is a, a US, USSD code you are using, mm -hmm. so that uh, those with, without smartphone you can register. Mm -hmm. Then there is an option for insurance, paying mm -hmm. daily, mm -hmm. paying weekly, or okay. you can pay in okay. lump sum every okay. year. All right. So that everyone will be covered. Uh, but there's a problem. Uh, mm -hmm. some, some, some of them are not registering. Of course, some of them will not register. Now, what, to come, uh, what will you do actually for them? Okay, we, we, those one who are not registered, then we, we consider them as not a 
not part of us. Mm -hmm. So if uh, they are caught, then let them face the law. We can't, uh, we can't advocate that we uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, because okay. we want to bring professionalism mm -hmm. in the sector. Mm -hmm. So anyone who is not abiding, mm -hmm. let the law deal with them. Okay. Yes. Interesting. Now, when, when you come back, Bwana Peter, to this issue of bringing sanity to our city, now, mm -hmm. have you, have you, maybe without the border borders, do you think it will be kind of organized? Already, the back and forth tug of war between border borders, motorists, the county government, do you think this will be sorted without them in the CBD? Uh, yes. Uh, why... Uh, we need uh, an organized town is because uh, Nairobi, as we had said, is a capital city mm -hmm. of the country yeah. and also an international and a regional hub uh, in the Great Lake region. So uh, we should read by a good example. You have seen that in Rwanda, where uh, Kigari, where each b motorbike carries uh, one pillion mm -hmm. and the pillion is well uh, clothed in reflector what we call fluorescent jackets okay. and they're ordering all of them have helmets mm -hmm. with the latch because mm -hmm. a helmet without the latch is mm -hmm. useless yes. because the helmet will come out all, all the same mm -hmm. so on the enforcement this is where also we have it's lacking Okay. Because uh, a motorbike, unlike a motorist, mm -hmm. will easily escape. Yes. If you stop him, mm -hmm. he will not necessarily stop. And you cannot be able to read the number of plates. So the police are helpless when it comes to enforcement. Since a, motor, a, mo a motorbike is versatile, it can easily use even a, pa a, ro a, road, a road path or use the wrong side. You have seen them driving on the wrong side yes, of the traffic. Yes, yes, sure. So it uh, easily uh, lands out. And that is where uh, now mm -hmm. the concern of the county government comes okay. in, mm -hmm. where they find that uh, the good image of the town is being soiled. Okay. So uh, as much as also we have another problem in the chaotic uh, uh, Matatu sector, okay. Okay. but again, that is being controlled because you have seen that now we are no longer having those loud exhausts, protruding limbs, yeah, yeah. they are no longer overlapping because yeah, yeah. Uh, Matiangi uh, came on and restored some order yeah. to that sector. Mm. So uh, regulation will come anyway. Okay. Regulation is there not only for uh, uh, motorists, okay. also for motorcyclists. Mm -hmm. It's supposed, uh, because many motorists say that uh, the government treats uh, the border sector mm -hmm. Preferential, they give them preferential treatment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They favor them. They don't enforce. So you'll find that where we are having a speed or a, a road block, uh, Buddha Buddha comes uh, roaded with the three to period. Okay. And that does not bother the traffic enforcer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But you do a small misdemeanor mm -hmm. and you are arrested. Mm -hmm. So we want a uniform uh, road enforcement okay. where. All players are treated the same. Okay. You commit a mistake, mm -hmm. you commit a, a, a traffic offense, mm -hmm. and you are uh, mm -hmm. charged for that. Okay. But okay. where now uh, you... So to get an organized city, mm -hmm. we need regulation, mm -hmm. enforcement. Regulation is self-regulation from our side. Okay. And then the government enforcement. And we are going to have a, a very nice set. Okay. Yes. Now, the enforcement <laughs> regulations, according uh, to when, uh, Peter here, uh, it's, 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 it's good to have the regulations. Now, mm. what's, what's your demand? What do you want from the UBA? Of course, you want to bring sanity back mm. to but the Boda Boda riders. Mm. As much as it will take time, what are your demands? Because at the end of the day, when he talks about regulations, sanity, Nairobi being a hub, Nairobi being a very big city in the world, um, what are your demands? Because will you just be moving around uncontrollably? What, what do you want uh, from the UBA, from your agreements and everything? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, the first thing we want is uh, not to be taken as criminal. <laughs> because uh, <laughs> if you take someone as a criminal, then they, they prove it. They, mm -hmm. they, They'll go ahead and prove it. Okay, you have put me in this sector now, eh? Yeah. I'll improve on it. Oh, okay. But we want so, the, so that, that's very interesting. <laughs> yeah. So you, you're trying no. to say that uh, um, when you are kind of tagged as criminals, you'll try and to people, prove it. People try to, it's like, uh, okay, yeah. the, in, in the, the, the mindset, they say, oh, well, the, yeah. the county government is yeah. treating us as mm -hmm. this. 
So, so it become tags. It's become yeah, it's okay, a complex. Not, not exactly, it's a complex. <laughs> yes, That's why exactly. it's a complex. Okay, okay. So we wanted the account government to to call us. Mm -hmm. They can call us even at Uhuru Park and say, mm -hmm. now this is what we are doing. Mm -hmm. We want we want to order in the city. Mm -hmm. If we found you not uh, at uh, whatever you have designated to stand yeah, there, yeah. then we will take you as a criminal. Mm -hmm. Full stop. Okay. Yeah, so that uh, if they, they give us a place, mm -hmm. they give this rider, they say, you are how many? 30. Mm -hmm. Every reflector, mm -hmm. if you are number one, you have number one on your reflector and a bike. Sure. So that from there, we know this uh, this rider is from Kirinyaga Road, mm -hmm. a certain stage, mm -hmm. number 30. Sure. In case of a mistake, you just come there, we say, we, we, we had uh, one of your rider, mm -hmm. this and so, did this and they escaped. So yeah. you you have the mandate to look for him. Mm -hmm. Or else, mm -hmm. you will not continue operating from here. Okay. That will be the first, from mm -hmm. the county government. Sure. Now, because the government is, the, the larger government on their part, they are playing, mm -hmm. but now it's the county destroying it. That's mm -hmm. why you see them, uh, the Boda Boda yeah. are still in town, but uh, yeah. Yeah, they operate as, uh, as if they are not loved. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. We want to love in this sector, yeah. because it's, a, it's a, an economic powerhouse. Okay. If, uh, yeah, Peter has something to say. Yes, I have understood yes. you. Uh, in terms of uh, when you feel that you are being looked down upon. Mm -hmm. And uh, I understand that crea that creates uh, a complex mm -hmm. known as, is it inferior or yeah, superior? Inferiority complex. Or inferior or su in superior. Inferiority complex. Any of them yeah, sure. are, is not good. Mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, that is why you will find a uh, motorcycle tries every time to be ahead, irrespective mm -hmm. of even if you stop, he doesn't know, want to know why you have stopped. Yeah. Probably you have stopped for the pedestrians yeah. to cross. Some pro-box behaviors, of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but exactly. since now he, uh, the rider wants to prove that mm -hmm. he is actually big. Yeah, he's I don't know. Control. I don't know whether being big no, is no, superiority no. Or, or inferiority. <laughs> so when you, you feel you are small, you mm -hmm. try to act big. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, <laughs> so mm -hmm. by acting big, it means that you lower up to show that, oh, me, I have yeah, to show you I'm a presence. I'm in control. I'm yeah. in control. Mm -hmm. You'll drive on the wrong side yeah. of the road. Yeah. You'll try to every time be ahead of, of the motorist mm -hmm. and maneuver even where traffic demands that we drive slowly you will find uh, a motor uh, a motorcyclist hurtling at very high speed yeah. not considering that the road is used by all road users mm -hmm. we are all road users mm -hmm. the pedestrian has got the right to use the road mm -hmm. uh, the motorcyclist the motorists even those sometimes who mm -hmm. are uh, who push this hard cuts if it is in town. Okay. So all of them are road users. Mm -hmm. But when you lied, you can find uh, sometimes in estates, mm -hmm. a border border is hurting the speed of a super highway. And that we that road is, has got a lot of people. So what are we doing in self-regulation? Mm -hmm. Because at our place, uh, also residents associations mm -hmm. are supposed to come up and reprimand, go to those people where they are congregated, mm -hmm. tell them that you are riding at very high speed within the estate, and this okay. is where children are walking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So can you regulate your speeds within residential areas? Can you regulate your speeds within built-up areas? Okay. Can you use a, a code where you only overtake on the right sure, side? Sure. And then once we nurture mm -hmm. uh, a mutual respect, you will find that motorists love and actually we, mm -hmm. they are your brothers. Mm -hmm. So you will find ourselves respecting actually even giving way yeah. where necessary to the motorcyclist. Mm -hmm. But when it mm -hmm. becomes confrontational, mm -hmm. everyone wants yeah. to hog their it's space, yeah. then yeah. that is where chaos is coming all in. Right, all right. Yeah, that is uh, how I understand it. Yes, quickly before <coughs> you wind up, yeah, you have to say something. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I guess in, uh, in the CBD. Uh -huh. Where, you know the counter said no border border mm -hmm. in the town. Okay. So if you if if, if I'm there with you then I stop. Of mm -hmm. course this kanjo will come and give you my bike. So you have to flee. So, yeah, you have to flee. But, <laughs> but you outside see, the CBD, uh -huh. you'll see bikes are relaxed. Motorbikes okay. are relaxed because they know there is no okay. kanjo who will come and harass me around. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very so, much, Bwana Evans. And of course, let's hope uh, we'll find sanity very soon. Mm. Thank you so much, Bwana Peter Morima, for coming to studio. Evans of Fuller for coming to studio. Okay. And I believe the Boda Boda riders who've maybe watched this morning have understood that indeed it's wrong to um, do some things in the streets. And of mm. course, the motorists also. Yes, they've been victims for a long time. And uh, let's hope maybe yeah, the sanity will be achieved very soon. Thank you so much Thank for coming. Thank you so much. Yeah. All Thank right. You. Now, we're taking a short break. But when you come back, you want to the region, Uganda, Tanzania, and remember, there's an uprising in Sudan. What is really happening in Sudan? All that coming to you after a short break. <laughs>